Hi everybody, welcome back to us up here at the storage yard. We're always at the storage yard, aren't we? We are. We're never away. <laughs> well, we are, but we're just never away on these videos. Um, today's video, we are going to go through our kitchen kit with you. Um, now, why bother? Well, the reason is when we started caravanning exactly two years ago, um, we purchased a lot of stuff for our kitchen that we thought we needed. Um, and we spent a lot of money on it on specialised camping specific equipment. And the truth of the matter is, is that we, over the past two years, we've slowly but surely been throwing it away and replacing it with normal household kit. So the purpose of this video is to show you the stuff we have in the caravan now. It's designed specifically for newcomers and people who are just starting out. Um, and just some tips and um, ideas for you, things that you should have in the caravan. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it really. Years ago, I used to go caravanning with my mum and dad. And one of the big bits of advice that my mum gave me was when you're buying saucepans or frying pans or any pans of some description, try and get stuff without handles. Because when you've got children running through the caravan, it's very easy to knock a handle because the, you know, the, the, workspace isn't as big as what you get at home so it's very easy to knock a handle and you know what that piece of advice rang true with me and uh, we managed to pick up this uh, cook set here for um, just under 30 pounds I think it was um, and uh, it's got no handles on it at all it's got a connectable handle which you can see there um, and you cook it up pick it up and obviously put it onto the saucepan um, this one is the Coleman family cook set I believe um, links to all of these products I will put in the description um, and this one comes with a frying pan, a big pan and a little saucepan as well. Again, hasn't got any handles on it but uh, you can connect a handle onto it uh, which we also have. So and this, very good with storage. Yeah, that's right. This is excellent actually because it all piles into each other like so and then this actually goes underneath the cooker. Um, so when we're in transit this goes away and uh, and it works out really well for us so this was an original purchase and uh, we still use it frequent viewers to our channel would have noticed me talking about this thing uh, a zebra pot and we use this one all the time what we use it for is we cook up ahead of time so what we do is we um, cook up a chili or a, a stew or a curry or something we cook it ahead of time and then we transport it with us for our first night away Basically, it means that all we need to do is reheat whatever we have in the pan. Um, and this is called a zebra pot, and it has a handy lid. It has a small dish inside as well. And then this contains quite a lot of food. And the reason why we love this so much is that when you put it all together and you put the handle up, the lid cannot come off. So it doesn't mean it spills everywhere. Um, and it's extremely handy and it fits perfectly on the cooker. In fact, we use it on the hot plate when we're at um, electric hookup. Um, but it also will fit perfectly on top of a Kadak as well, if you've got the uh, pot ring uh, that comes with it. So, so the second most important thing for whenever you're going away is a good cup of coffee. The first being a good glass of gin. Uh, we use this one. This is our stovetop cooker for our coffee. Uh, because we primarily drink coffee all the time, it makes sense that we have this with us. And what this is, it's just a percolator, a stovetop percolator. You have a basket, you load your coffee in here, you fill this up with water, you put it on the top, and what happens as the water boils, it pops through that hole there, it filters through, and it, can per it creates the uh, percolates into coffee. Um, the longer you leave it, the stronger it gets. Um, and you can gauge how strong it is by the colour of the liquid through the handle there. And this is absolutely fantastic. It makes good four cups of coffee, um, and that's cups, that's not little teacups. It makes good four cups of coffee. Once you make it, it stays really warm in this stainless steel pot. And we purchased that from Lakeland. Lakeland, yes. Yeah, we purchased it from Lakeland. And this has been brilliant. We use it every morning that we're away. Um, and the kettle, we don't use an electric kettle because we originally thought we were not going to be on electric hookup all the time. So we got ourselves this one here, which is just, you know, a stovetop kettle. As you can see, it's a little bit battered, a little bit abused now, but uh, 
we bought that one originally and it was uh, it was a good purchase actually and it's done us very proud now so this is when things started to change we originally didn't have any trays or anything in the oven so what we actually did is we went down to ikea um, on one sunday afternoon and we purchased a lot of stuff that we thought we needed um, and these were two things that we thought we absolutely needed and they were oven trays now of course as you now know um, you can only use one tray in the oven because we've only got one shelf so it's just basically a choice of sizes um, so we use that one rarely so we could probably do with getting rid of one of those trays um, but we use those occasionally when we're away now the only thing that we did purchase um, after the first couple of days out uh, we purchased some egg rings and these are absolutely essential if you're using a kadak outside um, for, certainly for frying eggs etc um, rarely will you get the kadak exactly level so the reg eggs will always run in one direction when you're cooking so by using the egg rings it captures them in one area it means you, you, you haven't got eggs running around the whole plate um, although I did see one chap use sausages to barricade his eggs in once which I thought was extremely clever tip with those is making sure that they're warm on the Kadak that's an excellent point that's an excellent point so basically when you put these on the Kadak make sure they're hot and also make sure they're oiled on the inside as well otherwise you'll have a heck of a job getting the egg out so that was uh, that's a good point actually and we bought these from the range um, and the reason why we purchased these is because they've got these really handy um, sheaths on them like so and we purchased a few of these knives I think there's one more in the cupboard um, but you've got a very sharp knife there with a protector on it which means it can be put away without damaging itself or something else we've got a bread knife and a nice handy little paring knife as well absolutely fantastic these are razor razor sharp and they were surprisingly quite affordable also when we're talking about preparation when we were in Ikea we purchased uh, a couple of their chopping boards and as you can see these are well used now um, and these were very inexpensive as well in fact if you're thinking about kitting out your kitchen you, you, it's pretty good down at Ikea because a lot of stuff there is valid for when you're camping so we use those boards there we've got these in a pack of two so there's a blue one and a green one and the green one is massive we purchased a lot of camping specific lightweight cheap kitchen utensils and I'll be honest with you they were rubbish so what we've ended up doing is just replacing them with standard kitchen equipment so we've got wooden spoon plastic fish slice we use the plastic one because I don't want it to scratch the kadak or uh, the, the frying pan here um, obviously wooden utensils standard can opener standard peeler um, standard spoon obviously probably the third most important equipment is a good corkscrew and then these ones have been an absolute savior silicon tipped tongs these are absolutely essential um, we've gone many years without these um, and i purchased some of them not so long ago and these have been absolutely fantastic perfect for the kadak you don't scratch it perfect in the caravan because you don't scratch anything else anywhere and uh, you can pick up and you can obviously do an awful lot with the, with these things. Fantastic. And also if you've got a tapenaki as well, it's brilliant for that. Something else that we purchased which uh, wasn't immediately obvious to us. And that was a good cooking uh, thermostat. And this one hangs up or places down um, either in the oven or uh, in the Kadak if you need it inside the, the Kadak. Obviously a Kadak's got a, a temperature on the lid. But uh, this is absolutely fantastic. So um, we put this one in the oven a lot when we're baking bread. Um, we use the part break bed, so what we do is, you know, we make sure that we've got a good temperature. Now, in terms of cutlery and plates and knives and spoons and forks and cups, again, we we're at IKEA and we managed to pick up a really cheap set of knives and forks and spoons. Very affordable. You know, don't be fooled to think that you need knives, forks and spoons, which, you know, again, are camping specific. We bought these ones at the, loco at the local dealership, which is a bowl, plate and a side plate. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't particularly like these. Um, we are, we always assumed that we'd need plastic cutlery, uh, sorry, plastic plates and plastic glasses and plastic cups. I think it was after two trips away we replaced the cups for normal mugs. Um, and we are about to ditch the plastic plates and bowls 
uh, for standard crockery um, and we're going to get one of the the budget uh, ranges from the local supermarket i think it was asda we saw it for 10 quid didn't yeah. we yeah asda for 10 pounds have got a fantastic deal where you've got uh, uh, bowls side plates and plates and cups um, I think there's about 24 pieces and it's £10 and it's designed, you know, it's, it's, it's a budget range and it's, well, it will be perfect for us. You know, we bought plastic cups um, which on the face of it are great but it's something wrong about drinking out of a plastic cup. I don't know what it is but it's not right. Also, they scratch. They scratch really badly. I mean, it looks as if this is filthy but it's actually just scratched where it's been washed up and cleaned up all the time. I mentioned that we changed our mugs over. I'll just bring the one over here, which I'm drinking out of at the moment. This was an IKEA special again. Um, after we ditched the plastic cups, because I just didn't enjoy drinking tea or coffee out of them, we just bought the cheap cups. And we've had these in here now for just under two years. And we've still got six. We put two away just in case one got broken. Um, and we stack them away fairly carefully. Um, but you know, we were expecting one or two of them to break, but not at all. So based on that is the reason why we're now going to start changing over to um, proper crockery and probably a proper glass or two in the caravan. So that's it. That's all the kit that we have in the kitchen. Um, now a couple of other points to point out. Um, when we're cleaning up and cleaning the kitchen sides down, we use this stuff. Um, it's uh, Ecova Multi Action Spray. I don't know if you can see that. That's the stuff we use, um, works really well, just keeps everything clean, doesn't damage any of the surfaces, doesn't damage any of the sides. Um, and a couple of other points as well is from the range, we purchased a few of these jars, uh, which we keep our coffee, our tea and our sugar in. Um, it means that everything is nice and airtight. Um, and uh, also because they're square-ish, they stack really well. So you can see it's all stacked in there quite nicely, apart from the hot chocolate. But that just goes inside a plastic jug um, and you can see that it all stacks really well now that's how we transport it so you know don't be uh, don't be alarmed to think well it's all going to slop out and, and move everywhere but that's exactly how it transports down the road that's it that is everything that we have in the kitchen um, i mean there's a few other odds and sods a few bits and bobs like you know tea towels and other mitts again but we genuinely went to ikea yeah the range yeah couple of other shops as well but don't be fooled into thinking that you need to buy lightweight kitchen equipment you don't you just don't um it, you know it's standard kitchen kit i suppose that's trying to what i'm trying to say and we fell into the trap of we needed specific camping or caravan based you know uh, products uh, because the marketing men are brilliant at telling you that you need specific stuff for your caravan you just don't it's just common sense um but the knives are a great idea because mm -hmm. they've got covers on them um, and of course when you're using them it means that having them covered is safer yeah um, storing them so you don't stick your hand in the drawer and cut yourself instantly very good point yeah and some of the really lightweight stuff that you purchase breaks too easily so at the end mm. of the day you think you're spending less money but you're having to keep replacing it so yeah. it mounts up yeah and you know we fall, fell into all of those traps mm. initially um, we just purchased the, the wrong stuff to start with. And we wasted a fortune buying stuff that we thought we needed. And actually, you know, it turns out you don't need to have plastic plates. You don't need to have plastic cups. You don't need to have mm. plastic mugs. Um, the one bit of advice that my mum gave me, God bless her, was buy pans and saucepans and frying pans without handles. And I tell you what, that has been an excellent piece of advice. Yeah. And that cook set was less than £30 when I bought it from Amazon. Um, and it's lasted us really well. Um, looks as if it could do with a ready good clean mind, but you know, it's done us really, really well. Uh, so there we go, that's it. Um, let us know what you have in your kitchen. Let us know if there's anything that you purchased that you thought is an absolute essential in your caravan kitchen. Um, other than that, I think that's it from us today. Yep. Brilliant. Till next week, we'll see you again soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye.